Uh, can I help you fellas? There are a lot of gunshots coming in inside here. Yeah, this is a gun store. <laughs> First of all, I was told I wasn't in custody, I was being detained. Secondly, this is private. What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to OCRP and today we're going to be a gun salesman and uh, basically the plan is that we're going to sell guns and they're going to be able to test the guns by shooting at this door here and pretty sure some cops will get involved and uh, let's see how they take it because we're in an ammunition so they should be fine with it but I don't know for sure so uh, let's see how this goes Right, ammunition is open for business. Oh, uh, I, I, I was looking at some something to protect myself, but uh, I have no idea what to use. Okay, so I would personally recommend a pistol. The two that we have on special offer right now are... This is the normal pistol. She's a great pistol. Um, it's very similar to a Glock, but it's American made, so it's a lot tougher and more sturdy, made of solid steel. And... Oh. Oh yeah, uh, what's the other one? This is a 50 caliber. So this is an American pistol. She's, uh... Oh, sorry about that, I get a bit distracted sometimes. She's American made, she's great, she's uh, 50 caliber, which means she's very high powered. Uh, we'll probably be able to shoot your enemy into the next decade. Uh, okay. C could I have a try, please? Yeah, sure you can. Um, if you just pop into the uh, little blue circle I drew on the floor but there, you'd be able to pick one up and give it a test fire. So on the door, right? Yeah, just try not to miss. Let me know when he shot one. We are shoot. Oh, we oh, are shooting. I. It it has some recoil, this thing, right? It's it, it jumps back almost like it it's about to hit me in the face. Yeah, the reason for that, any gun will have that. More powerful guns will have it more than less powerful guns. Um, simply because well, it's basic physics. To be honest, the force is applied at the top of the gun, and your hand is in the middle. So it will cause the gun to point up was a bit, but over time you'll learn to correct that. Oh, okay. I'm sure with a bit of practice you'll be the best shot in town. Feel free to test any of the other guns we have on uh, display in this case here. <coughs> <Can't afford. coughs> yeah, I'm in the same boat. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, honestly, she, she is a great gun. Ooh. Obviously, first rule of shooting never stand in front of a gun. <laughs> Okay. So, do you like this this firearm? It's it's really nice. And, uh... Yeah, as I said, we've got it yeah. on special offer. There, it's a few hundred bucks. I can't remember exactly how much it is. I'd have to check. But if you want something powerful and good for self protection that you can carry in your bag or whatever, this is the gun for you. What, uh, can I help you, happened? fellas? Oh. Can I help Put you? Your hands up. Do you want to, like, Man, get off my property? Come here. What, what's, 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 what's happening? Face away from us. Face away from us. I got cuffs. Same for I got the door. 
Sir, what? I'm just being detained right now, okay? Um. Why? Walk out here with us. Is everything okay? Is she wanted or what? Hey, sir. Stand in front of the uh, push bumper. You everything okay here? What the hell happened? Um, I have no idea what you mean. We heard a lot of gunshots coming in front inside here. Yeah, this is a gun store. <laughs> yes, and from what we can recall, you don't have a gun range here, do you? We use the door. It, as it is private property, it's my discretion whether to have a range installed, but it was deemed too expensive, so we use the door. It's got sand and all kinds of things behind it, so it catches the bullets. Wait, so you're, you're firing at the door? Yeah. Okay. It's reinforced. Uh -huh. Okay, and what's your, what's your name, sir? My name is Michael J... Macintosh. Uh, yeah, it's Macintosh. mine. Macintosh. All right, Mr. Macintosh. Okay. All right. Just, just hang, hang outside. I'll, I'll talk to my, my colleagues out there, and we'll, we'll see what, what the hell is going on. Okay. Yeah. That, that girl's not wanted, is she? I didn't get around to checking the credentials yet. No, we don't know. We just heard gunshots coming from inside. Yeah, I'm surprised that surprises you that much. Well, from sir, like I said, from what we know, there's no gun range in here. Okay, so we are hearing gunshots. We might think there's a robbery going on. There's someone who's going havoc in here. No, no idea. Oh, okay. trust me. Any robbers will either get shot or shot. <laughs> okay. Sir, uh, I'm gonna have to detain you for questioning. The uh, the person we have in custody says that you allowed her to sh uh, shoot inside the building. Yeah, that's correct. I don't see why that needs detaining. Okay, well, if you just turn around for me so I can put the cuffs on. You're not being arrested. We just need to talk. I mean, this is private property. And it is safe. I've done Thank all the you, health sir. and safety regulations and stuff. Oh, well, if, you just, uh, that. if you just uh, come out with me, we just need to clear this up. Okay. Do you have any weapons on you? Any I do knives? indeed. Anything that can hurt us? I've got two pistols on me. Alright, do you mind if I just uh, take them off you for a second? Yeah, just don't lose them. They're show pieces. Yeah, I won't. Sure thing. If you just uh, face uh, face the wall for me. You can just leave them on the counter. I think it's highly unlikely they'll get stolen with you guys here. Do you want to buy right. that big ass machete by there? 1500 bucks. Ah, uh, no, thank you. For you, my friend, 1400 <laughs> oh, I appreciate that, but um, I'm good. Thank you. So, sir, uh, can you maybe explain to me why we're here? Um, you probably know more than me about that. Okay, well, let me explain then. Uh, the reason you guys are both in custody right now is because you instructed her um, to fire the weapon in your store, is that correct? Yeah, and first of all I was told I wasn't in custody, I was being detained. Secondly, this is private property and I have taken all the necessary pre precautions to ensure that it's done safely. Alright, let's take a step outside, sir. Don't know if you ever tried to sell a gun without test firing, it's kind of hard. Step over here, in front of the tourist. Are you getting arrested? And yeah, you're correct. You are being detained. When detained. You're in custody, you are being detained. Um, so right now you're being detained uh, for the discharge of the firearm. Can you can you understand why that might be a little concerning for uh, you know deputies in this area? Uh, no, not really. I mean, if you look at the sign up there, it's clearly advertised that there there are guns in there, and there's no risk of shots being fired from inside the building outside because the walls are reinforced 
and there is sound proofing so I'm surprised people actually heard it it's probably just some nosy person who needs to mind their own goddamn business well sir you don't have a range here so I don't see how these walls can be reinforced in any way this is not an ammunition that contains a range well I'll explain that to you there's a door back there it used to be a store cupboard and that has had steel plate in put all around the cupboard. The walls have been steel reinforced. Uh, it then has a layer of Kevlar and then it has, they're called ferret beads, they're designed to catch bullets and then it has the wooden door so when you fire at the door the bullet goes through the door through the ferret beads which slow it down and then it impacts the Kevlar plate in at the back and falls gently to the bottom where I can collect them later. Okay, I'm familiar with how range works. Uh, seeing as I am a sheriff's deputy, so I appreciate the explanation, but it's unnecessary. Uh, do you have the proper permit to uh, show that your range is, or your ammunition here is in fact a range as well? Uh, I have my business licenses, and y you're correct, it doesn't specifically have a range, however I have filled in the health and safety requirements and done all the documentation that's been submitted to the government and it has been approved for shots providing I meet certain criteria which I have including no one being stood in front of the range no uh, animals or anything like that and customers must be kept away from anyone who's actively firing and I am a qualified instructor so that's the last criteria met <laughs> okay so you've met all the criteria then and this is technically a range right? it is indeed Do you have that paperwork that you can show me? Um, it would be where my till is. There's a chest of drawer with three drawers on it. The second drawer down. Okay. Do you mind if I I'll, go in and I'll, grab that while they uh, keep... Or actually, I think this deputy might. Yeah, yeah, that's I can, fine. I can go get it. Thanks, buddy. There's my business permits and my health and safety sheets in there. Okay. Well... BCSO hasn't been informed of any such range being opened up here. So, I mean, you may have the permit with Blaine County, um, but you didn't notify the Sheriff's Department properly, so, you know, we're, we're in a position where we don't know you're registered to be, to, to be a range, right? There's and nothing specifically stating that I have to inform you, providing my regulations aren't met. Um, it would be more of a courtesy thing, and I was told by the the representative re representative of Blaine County, the city hall down there in Los Santos, that the reg the authorities would be notified. Okay, well then it's probably just a clerical issue. Were you able to find the paperwork, deputy? Yeah, I don't know. I just grabbed all the papers in there. You'll have to sort them through. <laughs> he just gives them to someone else. Sort through these for me. <laughs> Find business license. Yeah, it's form 316AB. I just made that up. <laughs> um, the thing that I find surprising, they came in, put her in custody, no one even covered me with a gun. you're allowed to uh, fire guns inside a regular store, but... I mean, I, it never used to be a range, it was recently converted. But the reason I did that is, I don't know if you've ever tried to sell a gun. If you can't test fire it, you ain't got a sale. And if they do buy it, they usually come back a few days later saying that something's broken with it just for me to give them a refund, take the gun apart and realise that they've just jammed the firing pin or something like that because they weren't instructed properly how to use it so I figured it would be safer for me to personally instruct them how to use the firearm show them that it works and how to clean it and then sell the gun to them I got oh, it All right, I'm going to get sense, out of this. But What about just, you know 
getting an actual range installed. I don't know. The biggest it's issue with to shoot at the walls. The biggest issue with that is size. Like a range is pretty big, and then we'd have to buy buy the plots of land behind and pay the upkeep on them. And it just for a small town like this, it's not financially viable. So we came up with the closet idea. It was signed off by the health and safety regulators. So as far as I can see, there's very little issue. And I guess in the future, I can try and soundproof the building a bit more. But other than that, there's nothing more I can really do regarding the range. I think I'm doing quite well explaining this, other than the fact that I keep stuck to touch it every sir. five minutes. We're going to take you out of the cuffs. You can go ahead and face away from me. I'll uh, undo this real Actually, which deputy cuffs are these? Uh, that's, my, that's my cuffs. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, man. What what about the um, lady? Is she free to go? Uh, yeah, we're gonna cut her loose too. I mean, you do have the proper paperwork. The only thing is, I mean, we'd like a notification if you're gonna be firing off shots like that. It, I mean, it's as easy as just picking up the phone and calling on emergency. Yeah, I suppose that's true. I do have a panic button in I mean, there in case anyone does try and rob it. So if that goes off, then you know it's a robbery. But other than that, I would just shoot back. Yeah, I'd imagine you would. But I mean, from our perspective, we don't know if it's coming from your store or if it's coming from behind your store. And so if you notify us that there's going to be shots, we know they're coming from your store. You know, we're not going to be out looking for somebody. You know, because it's a big deal when gunshots ring out and we all have to go lights and sirens somewhere. We could probably kill ourselves driving over here along. You know, it puts the public in danger and it puts us in danger. So I hope you can understand where we're coming from on that front. Yeah, I, I do totally understand that. I just it caught me off guard the <laughs> the amount of cops turning up in my store. Yeah, well, when there's gunshots, usually it's going to bring a lot of cops. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. But anyway, like I said, I mean, I don't know what your sale ratio is, how many sales you do on a daily basis, but, uh, you know, I, I don't think it'd be too many to just call in non-emergency, let them know. Okay, I'll do that in the future. My opening times are 9.30 a.m. till 5.30 p.m., so between that time, it's likely that there'll be shots going on. Okay, no problem. Uh, well I appreciate your cooperation. Uh, we'll let you get back in the store, and uh, we'll let you hopefully finish the sale. Awesome. Okay. Have a great day. You too, sir. One's a guy, guys. Sorry, my voice is a little bit rusty. I've uh, hey, Marcus, had a cold, I so pretty good. Ma'am, you can come on. I think they're releasing. Uh, I think they're releasing Fred. Forgot his name then. Her name. Whatever their name. Oh, I didn't get my guns back. God damn it. So, he, I, I thought he had this sorted from the get go. Yeah, but I'll let you go back in. Um, maybe you guys can work something out so you can get that gun. Yeah. Make sure you get the proper Thank license you too, okay? Already sorted. I, I okay. decided to get that. It's too many robberies going around, so yeah. All right, perfect. Uh, one of your deputies has my guns. Oh. Oh, does he? Do you know which one it was? I can't remember. It was a pistol, a okay. fifty caliber, and a knife. Okay, let me call him real quick. <laughs> I think they just pulled somebody over, so they might be a second. Yeah, that's fine. If they can just swing by later and drop them off to me, that'd be fine. Okay, yeah, I'll send them over as soon as they uh, clear up. They're doing awesome. It. Have a great day. You too, sir. So, that was exciting. Yeah, they walked off with my guns. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so I'll take... I'll... Here you go, here's the money. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fucking hell! Right, that was uh, that was interesting. I, I, yep. Do you know what surprised me most about that? They came in, guns drawn. None of them even thought of pointing the gun at me. All of them were pointing yep. at you. 
They, yep. di- they didn't even talk to me until they escorted you out of the store. I was like, what if I'm a robber? What if the real clerk is, like, down here in the footwell, tied up or some shit? Oh, I think my guns are coming back. Hey, sir. One of my other deputies said that he had left them here for you, apparently, so he thinks they may have, uh... Found their way back into the gun cases. Okay. Yeah, no worries. I'm sure I'll find them. Okay. Have a good day. You too. Oh. And they stole weapons from you. They what? They stole your weapons. Yep. Bloody cops, always stealing shit. They're the real... <laughs> rim, real I can't fucking talk today. They're the real criminals, not these bloody bank robbers who get victimized by the police. <laughs> okay, that's a bit extreme. <laughs> <laughs> well, the lady going in to buy a gun. Yeah, that surprised me. I'll be honest, that caught me well off guard. It's like, oh, it's, it's not... a lady. You didn't think I would go this do, far? Do you want to know my favourite bit? Come here a sec. This lady is a lot taller than me. <laughs> that's because of the <laughs> shoes. Are they? Yeah, yeah but they're, not, they're not that tall. I reckon you'd still be taller than me without the shoes on. I don't know, you're one menacing woman. I wouldn't rob you. <laughs> I'm too old to rob you. Yeah. And oh. This is my car. <laughs> the cavalcade. Yeah, right. I, I had to get a mom car, okay? Since, since there's a cop still here, I'm going to lock up shop. You have a great day, ma'am. Thank you for shopping with uh, Quickie Mart. So, uh, sorry, Ammunition. <laughs> is that what the fuck? You what? know this is America. This this is amazing. This, this is how American this store is. So you got glasses, you got shoes, you got mugs and targets, you got vests, you got knives, you've got batons and knives, you've got tasers and guns, you've got ammo, you got fucking smoke bombs, grenades, bombs, fuel earmuffs, coats for hunting, and beer. <laughs> Just a shit ton of beer. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Can, sorry. Can, I, can I have a massive machete, a fucking <laughs> minigun over there? I'll have a grenade launcher while you're at it. Oh, and I'll take a bomb and a few grenades and some gas. Uh, I'll, take I'll, the, I'll have uh... a new coat. Oh, yeah, and I want to get drunk while I'm doing it. Welcome to America, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh. Do you need a ride somewhere, or are you going offline as well? Um, yeah, give me a ride to the garage burn the 24-7. i piss if we get pulled over now. Right, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode, and we will see you then. Peace out, guys.